the back cover of bhimaina has a question what does it mean to be an untouchable and uh, the answer is given by the speech bubble that has the mouth head of a sparrow and uh, so as we know the difference between the two speech bubbles so the back cover has this speech bubble and this is an answer to this question the question is what does it mean to be an untouchable now bhim rao ambedkar so here we have the uh, year of birth and his year year or year of uh, death 1891 to 1956 one of india's foremost revolutionaries we must notice the word revolutionaries grew up untouchable so what does it mean to be an untouchable we know more about this battling against the odds he gained multiple doctorates campaigned against social discrimination and the caste system and went on to draft the constitution of india so you see this sentence tells more about what does it mean to be an untouchable it does not always mean to be what the caste society can imagine it can also mean that despite battling against the odds one can acquire multiple doctorates and can campaign against social discrimination and the caste system and can go on to draft the constitution of one of the largest democracies of the world and the next sentence throughout his life ambedkar faced routine discrimination now this is next third sentence so routine discrimination that discrimination is habitualized now in school at the age of 10 this is one episode uh, of the uh, bhimaina of this novel graphic novel which is water in baroda after his return from columbia university and this is about uh, shelter and while traveling in later life that is the travel part so these three chapters here in a way have been uh, summarized the discrimination experienced by ambedkar continues to haunt a majority of india's 170 million dalits as many are still denied water shelter and the basic dignities of life so you see the number 170 million and still denied water shelter and uh, basic dignities of life so uh, our idea that this is a political novel is very clear look at the number of people and uh, their suffering even in the 21st century and a denial to basic dignities civil rights it's not a question of being politically powerful it's a question of survival and for that survival you require human rights basic dignities food water shelter mobility and that is what is political when we talk about it and uh, so answer to what does it mean to be an untouchable uh, is uh, a complex answer but it does should not be only a sympathetic uh, kind of attitude but also the other side of being a dalit which means to be able to develop a consciousness a political consciousness being aware of the existence 
of the dignities and at the same time one's labor which is underpaid underrated degraded by a social system that praises those who build their power over surplus not over their own labor in this ground breaking work pradhan gond art artists durga bai vyam and subhas vyam interweave historical events with contemporary incidents infusing fresh energy into the graphic idiom throughout the magical art